Hi there, my friends across the Western Pacific, specifically here in the southern half of the Philippines, where today we are getting the impacts from a shear line and that low pressure area east of Mindanao, interacting with each other, increasing the rainfall, and thus we're seeing so some uh, increase in the rain showers here. Now, this is not a full-on tropical system by any means, pretty disorganized, this elongated trough. At one point, this was a tropical depression, and it was expected to become a typhoon, but shear uh, really impacted it, and the forecast had has changed up here uh, just a bit. So yeah, let's break this down. And I know that a lot of you, um, I think some definitely social media posts have taken this and ran with it. So what we're seeing is kind of a lot of misinformation around this area. And I get uh, that. And then you get the rain increasing and people are, a lot of people wrote me today and said, what is going on? So let's break this down. And I hope, hey, if you know anybody like that is a little scared, uh, please share this video with them. Um, let's try to just educate and talk about what's happening here. So this area, this low pressure area just east of the Philippines was at one point expected to become a typhoon. Uh, the forecast backed off. And that was just from Pagasa for one initial outlook. Um, but as we expected from the start, you know, this could get sheared apart. It's something we've been stressing about for almost a week now. And that's exactly what happened. But what's going on though, is you still have that residual energy. It's located right in here. You see what that rotation is. And then you have that northeasterly wind colliding with it. And that's been flaring up some pretty decent showers from Cebu back towards late day. Samar, Tacloban as well. Been looking at this rainfall out here too. Thanks to that collision. You can see these cooler weather clouds moving into northeastern areas of Luzon. It's running into that tropical moisture and it fires up these showers along that shear line. Let's look at the rainfall forecast. Yeah, you can see exactly what I'm talking about, where that setup is. That collision of the cooler air settling in and then you got your tropical moisture down here towards south. So it's not a typhoon by any means. It's more of a, uh, a convergence zone, if you will, of that front settling in. Then it's colliding with our trough and it's creating this boundary with that increase in the uh, rainfall out here. I don't know why that's a cold front. It should be this convergence line. But anyways, it's definitely going to increase showers throughout the weekend for places like Legaspi, southern uh, areas of Luzon, Visayas. And then eventually this will shift slowly towards the north. And then you can even see there's another low developing in the wake of this that could be more of a problem for the Mariana Islands. You got that northeasterly wind here. Pretty gusty at times too. Along the coast, 30, 40, 45 kilometers per hour at times. It's definitely breezy. Western sea boards not so much but the eastern ones uh that wind does continue to kick up so for our friday here here's your forecast for your friday east coast from kagai and dioro uh, over there towards shargao um big shout out to a lot of guys there thank you very much so much for your support uh as well um yeah look at cebu 31 Tacloban at 32 and then we scoot a little bit further towards the north by friday could still see some isolated showers into manila but i think for most part it is dry for the northern portions of Luzon. So, yeah, guys, if you um, like this channel, check out the, our Patreon, all that good stuff. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I hope this video, a real quick one here for you, helps uh, out with uh, that worry that we're getting a typhoon. We're not, but there is plenty of rain in the forecast here. Stay safe out there, friends. Thanks for watching.